Welcome back. New exhibition. The Albuquerque Museum is proud to present celebrated photographer Danny Lyons' Exploration of the West, featuring the photographer's lifelong exploration of the people, places, land, and history of the West. This exhibition dives deep into his connection to New Mexico and his decades-long interaction with the community of Bernalillo. We're joined this morning by Albuquerque Museum Curator of Art, Josie Lopez, finding out morning, more. Good morning. Good morning. Thank, thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. So you guys just opened an exciting new exhibit. Tell us all about it. This is an exciting uh, exhibition because we had the opportunity to spend about two and a half years with Danny Lyon, really doing a deep dive of his foot photography and his practice around photography. What's really special about Lyon and the way that he works is that he really delves into getting to know the people that he's photographing. Mm -hmm. And so not only do these photographs have stunning images of, of people and places, mm -hmm. Um, but they also tell these really interesting stories. And so you can imagine that when you're looking at a, a photograph of Muhammad Ali, for example, sure. uh, getting a sense of what was he doing at this time in this place and understanding that kind of engagement that the photographer and the artist was having uh, with these subjects that he was uh, taking pictures of. And you just mentioned it. I mean, his, his photography kind of causes you to question what was he doing in this time and place? And he's lived an incredible life. Um, he's, been, he's seen some of the most important times in our nation's history. How does his photography really reflect that? So one of the first projects that Danny Lyon engaged with was actually being hired by the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee during the Civil Rights Movement. And he was able to capture some of the most important photographs of that particular time, including um, incredible photographs of John Lewis, um, who, as we know, was a political giant and mm -hmm. icon, um, one of the most uh, one of the interesting photographs that's in the exhibition that has never been shown before is actually a recent photograph of John Lewis in 2020, just before he passed away. And so seeing that trajectory of not only his life and the greatness of his life, but also the friendship that developed between him um, and Danny Lyon over time. Now the exhibit showcases the photographic new journalistic style. How does this type of exhibit differ from others? What's interesting in this exhibition is that in addition to the photographs, we also included montages and films. But this idea of new journalism means that the artist is actually placing himself within the story. So that's really where you see the relationships that are forming between him and the community in Bernalillo, for example, mm -hmm. where over decades, over years, he's following these stories. And some of them are quite tragic, but also he's showing that from a humanistic perspective, that it's important to have empathy, to mm -hmm. see people around us that maybe aren't the same as us, and also to engage with those histories and those stories and those cultures in different ways. But he also inserts himself into the story. And so I think that's what's fascinating about the way in which he pulls together these very different bodies of work, mm -hmm but also tells stories um, that resonate not only all the way back to the 1960s, but in the present day. Now, if we wanna go check out his incredible work, um, how can we do that? How long will the exhibit be available? So the exhibition opened on March 11th and it'll run through August. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's plenty of time, there's lots of opportunity. So I hope that um, we'll have uh, plenty of visitors at the museum. We also have a third Thursday event um, uh, this, this Thursday evening, uh, which will be featuring the film that he created that is specifically the, the SNCC photographs that he took in the 1960s. Okay, very cool. And where can we go for more information? Uh, you can go to the Albuquerque Museum website, which is cabqmuseum.gov. Okay, and they can also buy tickets for the exhibitions and Third Thursday yes. on there as well. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks again so much for being here this Thank morning. You. Now, for a full recap of the interview, you can head to AlwaysOnKRQE.com.